the story started with trying to prepare a presentation on the history of Lyme Regis hospitals. And as I had worked here from 1984 to the beginning of 92, um, I wanted to find the murals again, or at least see what happened to them. So that's how things started. I went into the museum to look at some of the documents they held and was absolutely delighted to find a press article for 2001 where the murals had been rediscovered and had been protected um, by a man called David Rhodes, who was the maintenance man then. We found out later that he'd varnished them and then covered over them with um, hardboard and put a frame around the outside of them. So that was the start of the journey of trying to find out who had painted these things. We knew it was wind and pain, but what we didn't know was that he was quite an important illustrator. And from that, I contacted Paul Payne, the grandson, thinking that he could provide me with more information, but interestingly, he didn't know anything about it. So that's when we started to make some more investigations about it all. Had several attempts to be able to get into the nursing home, finally got them the boards off the wall and started taking photographs. So it's been fun. And they are in amazing condition. They're beautiful. Considering They're how lovely. long they've been there, which I think you said was 87 years, is your belief, is that right? Yeah, 87, they were done in 1935. September to November, Wyndham painted them. He was saying thank you um, as a youth leader for the two boys that had come into the um, children's hospital, children's ward, sorry. They had been on camp, I assume a scout camp, and um, uh, he was just saying thank you. So there's some nice references in the minutes of the thank yous they gave to Wind and Pain for doing the murals that are all around the room, or they were. Um, now only a section is protected, but um, they were all the way around the room originally. And perhaps one day in a future bit of decorating, more may be uncovered. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think there could be a bit more precarious than that, but who knows? You never know. contracted by the owners to, to convert quite a few of the rooms and um, this was one of the rooms and obviously I recollect the pictures being on the wall and it was all the way around the room completely all the way around to that sort of fight but I can't remember in detail whether it was all like that or whether there was I, I vaguely remember there might have been some animals but whether they were animals and toys like that, I'm, I'm not sure, it's so long ago. But they were right away around the room at, at that height. Um, and, and I recall it when I was a youngster as well, because I had my tonsils out up here. So I was in number two bed there, thereabouts anyway. That's what I recall anyway. So yeah, it was quite, quite good. And then Alex wanted me to decorate it. And obviously when we put the partitions up, etc. And uh, I said to him, I said, well, you, you can't go over those. And he said, well, what do you think we ought to do? And I said, well, I think we ought to line the walls with lining paper. I said, to protect them. I said, I said you paint over that. I said, then at least in the future, then if it's uncovered, it's still there. So that's what we did. And um, um, thank the goodness we did, because we got this. And it's lovely, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really pleased that... that, that that it all sort of happened, really. You know, at least for everybody, because things like that need to be saved. 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's nice to have a little bit of history, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. This was the Jordan Law. Uh huh. What can you remember about it? There was a cop in the front of that door. Yes. So how many beds were there in here? Can you remember? Five. Right. In the children's ward. Can you remember the paintings on the walls? Yes. And where were they? Were they all around the room? Yeah, I think they were more. Yeah. Mm. That's that's my memory is yeah. all the way around the room. Well it had to be like that, wasn't it? Yeah, I think they were all around the room. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I used to come in and work here. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. that was some time ago. That was the nineteen eighties, Rita. Oh we worked together for a few years, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did indeed. Yes. And then you stayed on here and worked here for the at the nursing yes. home, didn't you? Yes. Was, it, it was a really, it was a really nice place. We all loved it that we were in there. Yeah. Yeah. We had a good yeah, time. It was a nice place to work. Oh, it, it was a nice hospital.